Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1, GV Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. Oftentimes, in ham radio, you'll want to make a tuned circuit using an inductor and a capacitor in parallel. But you may not have convenient uh, means of using a variable capacitor in the conventional sense, the kind with the meshed plates and all of that. But you can create a tuned circuit in your ham radio, for example, in a transmatch or a radio amplifier or oscillator, using a varactor diode along with a conventional diode and an inductor arranged in a fashion such, such as is shown here. This is a parallel tuned circuit and the way you tune it is to vary the voltage across this varactor diode. Notice that this um, is reverse bias voltage. The greater the voltage, the less the capacitance and the higher the frequency. You can therefore have what is known as a voltage controlled oscillator or you can even use a, a circuit like this to create frequency modulation if you provide a variable direct current that's modulated with say a voice or well not a music in ham radio no music allowed but when you have a circuit like this you in effect have a tuned circuit whose frequency is adjusted by means of a voltage applied to these terminals right here. It's commonly done in VHF and UHF ham radio equipment but also to some extent in HF ham radio equipment. It's easy enough to build a circuit like this yourself. You just need to use the formula for resonant frequency uh, remembering that the uh, capacitor here which keeps uh, the coil from shorting out your control voltage this capacitor here appears in series with this capacitor or varactor here so you need to calculate the capacitance based on that series combination and then use the formula for parallel resonance you do know uh, that formula don't you uh, if not, it's uh, in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, any edition. Or you can find it in some of my other electronic books or electronics books, not electronic books. This happens to be figure 6-10 on page 110 of Electronics Workshop Companion for Hobbyists published by McGraw-Hill and authored by yours truly. A voltage-controlled oscillator or voltage-controlled resonant circuit can be built easily enough this way. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which, using this circuit, in any amplifier or oscillator would always apply to CW transmitting da 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 da